Good morning everyone. Look what I have made today. I have made a multiplication flower. Do you want to know how it is done? For the base, you can use old lids of any container. This is a rangoli mixer. This is again a lid of an old container. And this is a cardboard. You can also use this. In this, you can just draw a circle and cut it out. For making petals, I have used old maxi. You can use newspapers also. That will look colorful. Only thing you have to remem remember is that while writing on a newspaper, you have to use bright color sketch pens. You can use old wedding cards, a pair of scissors. Even you can use napkins, paper napkins of different designs. They will look lovely as a flower. You can see this when I flip the flower. I have also used an old container and I have used old paper for making my petals. Same way I will also make flower in this lid. For making the petal, as this color looks bright, I have used this paper. I will dub double fold the paper like this and make the petal. If the print is there, that doesn't make any difference. I'll make the petal. I will be making the flower of 15. So, I have written the multiples of the 15 times table. You can see I have written 15, 30, 45. Now, with the help of cello tape, I will roll the cello tape here in each petal and I will stick it. So, first is 15, 30, 45. Now, you can see that I have stuck all the petals. Now, the inner petals, 15, 1, then 2, 3, 4, now you can see that from 1 to 10, I have stuck all the inner petals also. Now, in between, I will again take a paper and cut it. You can see the print is there. I have used an uh, old magazine paper. I will write 15 and stick in in between. Now, the 15 times multiplication flower is done. Isn't it looking beautiful and bright? Thank you.